Hey there friends, Nibs again. Wanted to uh, get out in the garage here and <clears throat> just do a quick one for you. A little update on a couple of uh, new air pistols that I had just picked up recently. And uh, <clears throat> I'll uh, post a picture up here right now of what they look like before. And um, I just did some really, uh, not, not a restoration, but some real quick cosmetic uh, cleanup on these. And uh, <clears throat> that really turned out very nicely. I'm very, very happy with the way they turned out. Um, this one was the worst one of them all. The barrel was all rusted. The um, air chamber tube was all rusty. Um, I did uh, clean all the rust up off of those, that and then um, to do a little bit of super blue, cold blue like this stuff this is really good and then uh, cleaned up the rest of the parts really dirty and cruddy looking uh, cleaned up the stocks and uh, polished them up with a little bit of uh, renaissance wax so different little things I did uh, clean up the internals and use some Teflon grease on them but uh, really looking nice now um, pumping up a lot better too um, it was uh, was shooting kind of weak, but uh, I did uh, clean up the internals too. It seems to be really shooting nice now, so got a lot of a lot of kick to it. So that's the pistol version and then I mean I guess this is still a pistol but it's got the uh, the stock on it this one wasn't quite as bad but it still was pretty crusty looking and <clears throat> needed quite a bit of cleaning um, the main part that was really bad on this one was the cocking knob back here it was completely covered with rust um, I took that to wire wheel to that piece and re-blued it um, didn't have to re-blue any of the pieces on, on this as far as the barrel and tube. I did put some orange paint on there so I can see it. This is really nice. I like the way, I actually like the way this shoulders and, and shoots. I um, think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this guy. But like the way this uh, you gotta make sure make sure you cock this guy it's shooting a little low I gotta I gotta adjust the uh, it's a adjustable little peep sight there but uh, we'll work on that but just wanted to get them up and running and looking real nice before I did too much more with them so but, uh, real real quick uh, video for you guys just wanted to show you my progress with these. Um, I did I did play around with that plane that planesman a little bit, and it does need a complete reseal. And I, I'm having a hard time finding a kit for that, so I don't know. Maybe anybody could suggest where I can get a seal kit for that. But so there you go. There's my two. These are the second version of. The Model 1377 American Classics, and uh, I'll post another picture of the uh, before to let you see how how nasty they really were. This one was terrible. The pistol version of it was really terrible looking and uh, needed quite a bit of work. But I was pretty impressed with myself. I was actually so it's got a little sticker on there that tells you how to cock it. So I wanted to keep things original as much as possible, and I was able to preserve that. So. That was pretty neat, but anyway, um, quick update for you guys. But uh, we'll be seeing more of these guys. I'll be putting up, putting them up against the new version. Uh, now I'm going to have to look around and find a, an original version of this as well, so I can have that to compare them to as well. But so anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And you'll get notified when I do post up new videos. But until next time, have a great day.